Hey guys, Brian here, and let's go over the game to see what we can learn from it. A lot of cool stuff, especially like end game stuff. But um, this whole game was all about this deep pond right here, and kind of pushing it up. And um, a lot of people, um, if you if you run into trouble thinking of kind of like middle game plans, try to figure out which of your pawns you want to um, push to glory. That that's one of the uh, plans that you could think of for your metal game plans but uh, let's just go through the moves here and see right now kind of that pawn seems awfully close to queening but it's still defendable by white but um, black is starting to activate his king here and in the game king e1 was played but if you want to go and that was actually the start of white's troubles but if you want to go move back pause the video and find a better move for white in this position you can do so now okay when you're when you're kind of being attacked like this um, instinct is to defend but another option is to simply counterattack right so how can white counterattack here rook f3 targeting this pawn here and black will defend and now instead of letting kind of black push his pawn as much as he wants just seal it off here seal it off and now it becomes a waiting game here and it's simply kind of um, computer has it pretty much dead even here but you know definitely kind of look at the evaluation bar this is where it kind of starts to go south for uh, for white in this position after that king move and um, basically that's kind of the downfall and um, that pawn push there allowed that rook to kind of come in um, a good habit to keep in mind is that whenever your opponent makes a move like always ask yourself what changed right what changed and with this pawn push here um, this this king becomes susceptible to checks so here comes the rooks and um, There's no way that uh, there's no way that white can afford a trade off here because uh, white will just I mean black will just queen these pawns after gobbling up this pawn and um, and look at the power of this pawn right here I mean this deep pawn cannot allow the rook to come and defend his pawn and um, black will scoop up that pawn and it's just too many pawns too many pawns for uh for white to contend with. So what can we learn from this game? Um, identify like in the in the in the late middle game kind of um, have in mind the, the pawn you want to push right and build your whole game around that. So kind of after here kind of black that was black's move and um, you know if you're if you're on the receiving end of a pass pawn kind of coming down the board then just kind of um, just uh, instinct to defend, but at certain points you may want to counterattack, like in this position, and just stop the advance of the pass pawn. Right, just block it off, and play the waiting game. And um, yeah, that's that's kind of it. I mean, that's I think those are the uh, things that we can learn from this game. And it's always cool to see, like between two good players, it's always going to come down to kind of like one move in the end game, and that's kind of what we saw here. So. Hope you guys enjoyed this game. Hope you guys enjoyed the analysis. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Thanks.